Did you own the VW Transporter T6.1? Earlier this year, it was discontinued due to not complying with the latest cybersecurity regulations in the European Union. And so if you are here looking to ditch that or looking for a possible substitute in that space, you are well covered. Now, the VW Transporter T7 breaks cover to put a lasting smile on your face for the following reasons. Which reasons? Just give me a Jeffrey and I'll break the T7 down how it compares to the outgone model, the trim differences among the T7 versions itself, and then the functional differences in terms of payload capacity and performance. And I will try as much as I can to add a current pricing in Europe as at 5th August 2024. But bear in mind that these figures are subject to change in time when you find this video. You know what? There is even a Panamericana trim which may blow your mind, guys. Welcome to Autostop once again at this point and let's get down to what we do best. Volkswagen finally showed us the design. What you are looking at is the all new 7th generation transporter and then the Caraville vans. These are joining the electric ID bars and then the multivan T7 offerings. And the transporter's T7 here is heavily based on the Ford Transit Custom um versions which i believe you might have thought about and the offerings here are a lot giving you a turbo diesel plug-in hybrid and fully electric variants which i'm going to talk about in time now what you are looking at is the new generation t7 and the new generation will be available in lcv forms that is a panel van or the panel van plus a double cup drop side version and on the passenger side, you are getting the Combi and the Caravel flavors, guys. Furthermore, you are also getting the high roof and extended wheelbase options for those who need more space. The more you look at these images, I'm sure you predict that this video of you transporter Caravel will share their proportions and more than a few body panels with the Ford Custom Tonio or the Ford Transit here. But then I have actually elaborated on these two vehicles using the link at the top left corner here should take you to them if you want to look at them. Still, if you take a closer look, video view designers try to make it look different by infusing some of their own styling cues from the ID bars and the uh, multivan. But I'm going to highlight a few of the design elements here and I'll leave that to your better judgment. I will move on to talk about the performance, the functionality of this vehicle, um, which, which is why we are here. So the highlight here is a redesigned face, which I think you believe you agree with me. Combining elements from the multivan and then the ID bars. You also see VW specific features here, including the flat belt line on the side windows and the Amarok styled LED tail light with body colored inserts that we are looking at here. If you jump into the interior, let me launch this image here to help us. And the interior is largely carried over from the Ford with a standard digital cockpit comprising a 12 inch digital instrument cluster and a 13 inch infotainment cluster. You also get to see numerous practical storage compartments in there the glove compartment you have another storage on the dashboard and you've got your cup holders and a few usb type c connectors or the uh, in the front area so those are a few things that i'll touch on but then with the images that we have here this one depicts a blue caravel nine seater in the flagship style trim you see that one and this one is also a green yellow transporter panel van in the adventurous panamericana guys guys as we spoke about the panamerican guys is actually distinguished from the unpainted bumpers with matching fenders and side moldings alongside a set of you know what guess 19 inch indianapolis alloy wheels guys you do see that so on the inside we do not have much here to show but we find illuminated stainless steel inlays in the side steps high gloss black accents and you've got a special seat fabric with panamericana lettering written on on that so basically those are the aesthetic touches let me just move on and talk about the dimensional differences and then quickly touch on the plenty power trains that we have on this bike so in terms of specifications vw is actually claiming that this t7 
is better in all ways. It offers more space, more payload, more towing capacity and efficiency compared to the T6.1 that is outgone. And now, let me just um, take a breather and come back with a plenty of the powertrain options that we have and i'm going to go through that as quick as possible this whole area the powertrain options depend on the variants that you go for so the new transporter measures between 198.8 inches to 214.6 inches long with a wheelbase of 122 inches or 137.8 inches when you compare them to the outgoing one now compared to the predecessor it is longer and wider in terms of the wheelbase and the width and that results in a maximum load capacity between 204.8 to 317.8 cubic feet of volume right now depending on the variant that you go for you are enjoying a maximum payload of about 2000 932 pounds and a towing capacity of up to 6173 pounds that's a lot of increments over the t6.1 but then this one is available with three turbo diesel engines you've got the 2.5 liter plug-in hybrid and a trio of fully electric powertrain options in this case now let me try and break the power numbers down at this point now within the turbo diesel engines the least powerful diesel generates 108 horsepower while the most potent ev produces 282 horsepower that's almost about two and a half times what the least diesel can provide now when you get into the internal combustion powered engine models they are front wheel drive and you have optional all wheel drive for more powerful diesel engines and if you jump onto the ev ones on the contrary, the EVs are railroad drive with an all-wheel drive version set to follow in the very near future, guys. So these are the multiple powertrains that you get to enjoy on the T7, which I believe automatically makes it a better offer than the T6.1. But it doesn't end there. Let me try and put the numbers to these figures for you so that you know which direction to go if you are interested in that now the van as we have earlier stated comes in three turbo diesel engines but then the vw transporter t7 here is already available to order in germany where this is actually priced around 36,780 euros this should convert to about 39,654 dollars excluding vat with a current exchange rate as at 5th of august 2024 so you also get a 43,768 euros version that actually converts to 47,188 dollars including vat for the entry level diesel powered panel van guys so this would be your price range if you're looking at getting one of these vans and pricing for the passenger focus caravel has yet to be announced which we will update when it does Production of this new generation will take place in Turkey, closer to where the Ford Transit Antonio Customs are birthed. And so it tells you how similar they are in terms of origination and similarities. Guys, this is what Autostop got for you for now. Be ready for the official unveil and the reveal of the all-wheel drive EV version. We want to say a big thank you to you. We hope you have a good, great day today until we meet same time again. Thank you.